when trying to run a virtual machine, you may get the error that reads, virtualized Intel VTX or EPT is not supported on this platform. Continue without virtualized Intel VTX or EPT, as seen here, I'm getting the same error. The main reason for getting this error is that Microsoft Hyper-V is installed. I will explain how to get rid of this error in 4 steps. Please note that all commands used in this video are in the video description below. So instead of typing, you can copy and paste. Step 1. Check if Microsoft Hyper-V is installed. Checking if Hyper-V is installed can be done in two ways. One way is via the command prompt and the other way is via the run command. To check if Hyper-V is installed via the command prompt, press the Windows key and type CMD, then open the command prompt application. On the command prompt, type the command system info and press enter. After the command finishes executing, check the Hyper-V requirements line as shown here. If Hyper-V is installed, you should see the following message in the Hyper-V requirements section. A hypervisor has been detected. Features required for Hyper-V will not be displayed. As you can see here, if however Hyper-V is not installed, you will see the Hyper-V requirements section, the names of the technologies required to install Hyper-V and the status of their availability on the machine as shown here. To check if Hyper-V is installed via the run command, press the Windows key and then type run. Open the run application, type MS Info32 and click OK. The system information window will open and then select system summary on the left pane. On the right pane, scroll to the bottom and you will see the same information about Hyper-V as with the system info command when using the command prompt as seen previously. Here we also see that Hyper-V is installed. Step 2. Disable memory integrity if it is enabled. To do this, press the Windows key and type core isolation and then open core isolation. Toggle the memory integrity switch to off. Click yes when prompted by user account control. Skip reboot if prompted and then proceed to the next step. Step 3. Remove Hyper-V if installed. Press the Windows key and type 10 Windows features on or off and open 10 Windows features on or off. Find Hyper-V on the feature list and untick it if it is ticked and then click OK. Once the processing is done, reboot the computer. Once reboot is done, test if the virtual machine opens without any errors. As can be seen here, the error no longer appears and the virtual machine boots successfully. If however, the error is still present, proceed to step 4. Step 4. Disable Hyper-V using command. There are two ways to disable Hyper-V using command. One way is via command prompt and the other way is via PowerShell. We look at the command prompt method first. To disable Hyper-V using the command prompt, open command prompt as administrator by pressing the Windows key and typing CMD. Right click the command prompt application and select run as administrator. Click yes when prompted by user account control. Type this command on the command prompt and press enter. When the success message appears, reboot the computer, then test to see if the error no longer appears. Here, I am not rebooting so that I can show you how to disable Hyper-V using PowerShell, then I will reboot. To disable Hyper-V using PowerShell, open PowerShell as administrator by pressing the Windows key and typing PowerShell. Right click the Windows PowerShell application and select run as administrator. Click yes when prompted by the user account control. In the PowerShell window, type the disable command as shown here and press enter. Wait for the process to complete. Once done, close the PowerShell and restart your PC to apply the changes. After rebooting, test again and the error should be gone. Let me know in the comments if you managed to get rid of the error. Please subscribe for more videos like this and thank you for watching.